the next function that follows from the exponential function is the logarithmic function. In fact, the logarithm tool was invented to make it easier to work with exponential functions. This was done in the 16th century by Jean Napier, Scottish mathematician. Okay, so how is the logarithmic function defined? fx equals log of x to the base a. We have already seen logarithms, so I won't go into the details of what a stands for, what x stands for and all that. We know that the logarithm of zero or negative numbers is not defined and therefore the domain of the logarithmic function is between zero and infinity. That is all positive real numbers only including one. x can be equal to one. The range is all real numbers. How is that? When a that is the base of the logarithm is greater than one then for values of x between 0 and 1, that is for fractional values, the logarithm value is negative. It keeps on becoming progressively negative as x approaches the value of 0. And then for higher values of x, like for example x equals 10,000 or higher values, the value of the logarithm of the function also increases. However, it increases at a much slower rate. So the graph of y equals log x looks like this. So this point where it meets the x axis is the point corresponding to x equals 0. This is for when the base of the logarithm is greater than 1. If the base is less than 1, then the graph gets inverted like this. Why does that happen? Because when the base is a fractional value, then you need to decrease the exponent in order to increase the log of the number. So similarly, when a is between 0 and 1 and you have values of x as fractions, then the logarithm is positive and when the values of x are greater than 1 since the base is a fraction the value of the logarithm of that number is a negative number.